Hello everyone and welcome to day 16 of 25 Days of Sparkle. I hope that you're having a wonderful day and that you are doing well. It is the afternoon and it's been a pretty productive day. I've tackled a lot of things on my to-do list, including a reel that I did on Instagram. I also posted it as a YouTube short and I'll leave a link for you to where you can find it. Um, I have a video, like a short video I've been wanting to do for a long time. And I kind of thought about different ways to do it. And I took some footage yesterday and I'm like, you know what? I think this footage will work perfectly. It's just about like body image and a reminder that strength isn't always seen on the outside. It's very evident in the inside. And I'm really happy I finally shared this reel. I, I think I'm always nervous to share this type of content, but it's also just, it could help someone. It can give someone that, that reminder that they need to hear. And I think it's so important that we tell our stories and share the struggles and the things we've gone through because it has the potential to help someone else, which I always think is so important. I, of course, I'm getting ready for my afternoon walk with Alice. It's kind of seems to be the pattern lately. I still need to pack for Disney and I realize that my flight is actually tomorrow. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my goodness, like I am going to Disney very soon. So I need to start packing. If I have time, I'll share a couple of things that I'm bringing to Disney. I think this is gonna be a quieter vlog today too, simply because I got a pack and then I need to get some work done, ideal work to get done before I leave. And then I also wanna try to edit my Pandora Me video and I need to edit these vlogs. So lots of things I don't think I'm gonna be able to tackle all in one day, but hopefully tomorrow and then into, you know, the flight and then Saturday, I hope I can have some time to catch up. And in a few days, I'm gonna be in Disney. I'm so excited. Oh, I can't believe it. So anyway, let's head out to the walk with Alice. I'll see you guys there. Hey guys, so I made it on the hike with Alice. Decided to take her on a hike because, well, we're gonna be traveling so soon. So I figured the best is to give her this chance to go on a nice little walk right now. So let me just show you her. Alice, what are you doing? So Alice got a little nervous. She saw some two dogs kind of play fighting and she was like, pick me up. I have this snuggie here, but I just, I just scooped her up really quick, but I'm sure she'll want to walk again soon. It's a little cold. She's shaking a bit. So she'll definitely want to move a little bit. So we, well, she can stay a little bit warmer or I'll put you in the snuggie. We'll, we'll figure it out. So I'm excited and nervous for Alice because I just, you guys can probably see a little bit of the walk and how it affects her a bit. Oh, she's not really walking my on stop day, but I feel like the surgery is going to help her so much. And I feel like, for instance, like I have to carry her quite a lot during these walks. Maybe you can kind of see it now how her back legs are pretty stiff at the back. And I forgot to say, but they said that she was like a grade three or a level three, which means she definitely needs surgery for her back and knees. So I'm really excited and hopeful for her that she's just gonna enjoy walks even more. And like, see how she doesn't let it stop her though. She's my determined little pup. She's so strong. I love you, Alice. But I'm very excited for her in the new year. I'm nervous too, obviously surgery is a scary thing, but I feel like it's just gonna be so helpful for her. And when she's recovered, I mean, it'll take a while to recover. It'll be so neat to see if she notices the difference herself when she's on the walks. and if she's able to run more or do this or that more, it's really exciting. Hey guys, I'm so excited. I finished editing two of my 25 Days of Sparkle. I played catch up, so I got one of them, the one that I was supposed to get done yesterday and up yesterday. I got up, I was so thankful that I was able to do that. Slightly longer video. And then I edited yesterday's video today, so that's gonna go up. It's just saving to movie file, and then I can upload it to YouTube and just wait for it to process. And so excited I was able to get that done. I also still wanna edit my Pandora Me videos, so, but I need to pack. So that is what I'm gonna get up to. Part, for me, part of the fun about going to Disney is the, like the outfits you gotta wear, you gotta dress more magical and fun. So I'm excited and I got to kind of figure out weather wise. I think the weather's similar to where I am. It's a little bit warmer actually. So kind of figure out what to, to I can't believe I'm going guys. I'm, I'm flying out tomorrow. 
I kept thinking it was on Saturday and I realized, oh my gosh, no, my flight is tomorrow. So it's a really good thing I checked because I, had, I like totally kept thinking it was Saturday. So <laughs> I'm very excited. So yeah, we got to pack the shoes. We got to pack the outfits other stuff I also have a bunch of things I need to get done for tomorrow I need to mail some Christmas gifts out there's a ton of stuff that I need to do before I head to the airport which is not much time and I have counseling tomorrow so it's just like <laughs> it's a lot going on and of course get some work done and editing vlog I'll probably have to figure out how I can edit this vlog that I'm filming in time too so we'll see and that's the other thing too is trying to figure out how to plan for editing while in Disney so I'm gonna have to figure out how to like how to do that even if the videos are just little little looks at the day um, I really want to take you guys with me and share the magic because I wouldn't I, like when I say like I don't think I would have had this opportunity without each and every one of you guys and your support and everything like it really makes a difference and I just want to take you virtually with me and just to take in the magic if you are like me and I've always had this dream of like going to Disney at Christmas time and just doing something super different like I want to take you along so it'll be really good I'm, I'm so excited so feeling very thankful and let's get packing I'm gonna so overwhelmed with the packing there's a lot I need to do Okay guys, I'm gonna apologize for the lighting. It's not the best ideal lighting, but I'm gonna quickly try to share some outfits that I'm potentially thinking of. I'm also torn between these ones and these ones, but this one I'm kind of channeling Cinderella vibes. It's like a silver sparkly top with the sparkle, hopefully you can see a sparkle tulle skirt. And the castle, is Sleeping Beauty's castle in here, I think it would look really pretty. So I think I'm gonna go with this outfit. This outfit I also like, like if my endometriosis flares up or anything, TMI, chronic pain life, but I sometimes get like endo belly, like kind of severe painful bloating sometimes if I have a flare up. So this is like a nice option to wear on those days because it's like, you can kind of see it's like a tulle skirt and I just tucked the sweater inside. You can wear it like loose too, but I feel like just, I'm very petite. <laughs> so I feel like tucking it in just kind of just gives me a little bit more shape. So yeah, I think, let me just fix that tool band here. This skirt is technically one size too big for me. I'm extra small and this is a small, but you can't really tell. So I think this is my first outfit option. I'm gonna decide on jewelry later though, like what I'm gonna bring. Okay, so I'm keeping the tool skirt on. This is by Vera Moda, by the way. I've had this for, I think it's safe to say over a decade and I love it. It's just, it's a little big, it's the only thing. Sometimes I get a safety pin and I just pin it at the center back because it just, I could easily take it in too. But I like having the option of having it looser, just, you know, depending on what kind of day it is. But I can always like safety pin it, but kind of like something like that. I, this is my shop, Disney Mickey Mouse Club. Dress shirt is super cute. And then with the tool skirt, I know it's hard to kind of see. And then I'm thinking these ears, which were a gift from Nicole. Hi, Nicole, if you're watching, I love you. And I finally get to wear them. So they still actually, she got me these last Christmas. And they still have the tags on because I haven't had a chance to wear them. But I'm gonna have a chance. So with those, this is this outfit. And then I know it's gonna be cold. So I'm gonna wear my Disney, you guys saw this probably in my Halloween, uh, I think I wore it in my Snow White Halloween Pandora bracelet video. It's cool, it has an evil queen in the lining and it has this like that like hint of Disney to it. Oh my gosh, I love it. See, that's so cool. And then I actually have shoes that match this and the jacket, which I think hopefully I can tuck down, you guys can see. I love how this looks, I think this outfit works and it'll keep me on the warm side. Let me just kind of come up close. You guys can see the detail. Yeah, this is good. I gotta cut these off. By the way, my bangs are like going crazy. I'll definitely be wearing tights. So I think this is cute. And I like that I can wear this skirt so far with two potential outfit options. I think both of these I think are good options to wear. So that's this outfit. Okay, so you guys probably remember this dress cause I wore it in quite a few vlogs. 
it totally gives me like Cinderella vibes so and it's warm so I think it is a must I think the ears from factory 55 work are really good too I actually do have a YouTube review on factory 55 they do amazing Disney Mickey mini ears like and they're interchangeable which is so cool so definitely recommend checking them out so next outfit I have my hot topic Aladdin skirt on Jasmine is my favorite princess as a lot of you guys know so hopefully you can see this is a must I love this skirt so much I actually have it featured and I think two styling videos I'll leave a link where you can kind of see a better look this lighting and even the position of the camera is probably not ideal to see the whole outfit but gives you an idea I'm just kind of torn so I only have three pairs of ears I have these ones this one I think if these were gold I for sure would pick these but then the silver studs, like there's gold on the skirt. I wonder, I don't know if you guys can see. <laughs> Hopefully you can see it, kind of get the idea. <laughs> it totally changes the look. <laughs> it's like a mixture of like Aladdin <laughs> with Disney villain vibes, but I think it works. And then I could potentially wear this, or I'm gonna wear my long ivory coat. Actually, if I wear my long ivory coat, I could wear the rose gold. So I have two, basically two options I could do with this. This is the skirt actually I was talking about to wear with the white blouse as well. It has like this gold trim. It's from Chic Wish. This is actually a sweater my mom got me from our Deans last year. This is just super cozy. It's warm, but has that like touch of feminine. And this is like a long, I don't know if you can kind of say long tulle skirt. And then I'm kind of torn about what ears to wear again because the rose gold are really pretty, I think, with the sweater and the skirt. But I mean, this equally looks super pretty. It has the silver of the castle in it, which I think complements the, what am I saying, this, this sweater too. So kind of torn because I think it could go. I think it could go either way. What do you guys think? That looks pretty. Okay, let's see this one. Oh, these look cute too. And now they'll, they'll be sparkly at night. I think the pink looks nice with that, but the rose gold, like both look good. I don't know. I think I'll decide on the date, but I like this outfit for sure. And then this sweater also would look really nice with the black tool skirt that I'm bringing. Okay, and then I'm gonna have to wear uh, this sweater I got from Marshalls. It is just so cute with that big bow. And I think I just wear this with leggings is kind of what I'm thinking. Might change it up and wear it with like a skirt because it could look cute with that black tool skirt, like a little bit of it tucked in. I think that could look cute too. And then what I'm holding are two dresses I wanna bring. So this one is my Kate Spade dress and you guys have definitely seen it on my YouTube channel in previous Christmas like celestial type theme videos. It is like, it's just gorgeous. It just sparkles from every angle and it's so pretty and flattering. And I think it would be really beautiful to wear for Christmas Eve is what I'm kind of thinking to wear it or even Christmas day, I think. It is just so pretty. It also would look cute if I wore like a sweater over top of it. I was thinking even that gray sweater I had just shown, depending with the neckline, I think it could look really cute. And then I have this dress, which is a red dress, and I've actually never worn it before. It was a purchase I made, I'm trying to think, a couple months ago I found it. It was really pretty. It has a lace back, but definitely like for the colder weather, I'll want to wear like a jacket or a sweater, even like a white sweater over top of it, I think it would look cute. The only con is I kind of need like a stick on bra with it. So I'll need to get by one. It does come padded, but it's just, it's not enough support if you know what I mean. So I'm like, I think a stick on bra would be good. Okay, I'm gonna finally cut off these price tags off these and I need to cut off, I'll cut this off in a sec. I want to be careful and not rushing when I'm doing that. I think, okay, this is the sweater I wore with the black tool of your Omoda skirt. I compared it with my other Chic Wish skirt, Jacquard skirt. It is so pretty and I think this would look really pretty too with my ivory coat. Okay, so for bag options, the bag I wish I had is in storage, which is my Dooney and Burke Disneyland theme bag. It is so cute and it literally would have gone with every outfit pretty much because it's just like kind of more classic. But I have my two lounge fly fanny pack bags. I think it's right off to the side. This could look really cute with the pink tulle skirt. I have my Madame Leota Haunted Mansion one. This one I find is just more Halloween. Like it could kind of work with the Aladdin outfit 
in the black, you know, like my Disney villain jacket. I just, I'm not 100% sure if I'm really going to be reaching. The other thing is I need to make sure I can carry my vlog camera in this. So I want a triple, I think it does fit in my cell phone and some necessities. And then my last bag, which I also feel like I might wear a lot. I actually won this from No Ordinary Mama and she, Rachel, and she is just the sweetest and it's an Elsa bag and it is so cute. It's by Danielle Nicole. I have a Cinderella bag from her too, which is super cute. And it's like a tote bag. There's like ton of storage in here. I can definitely fit my vlogging camera, if not the camera I'm filming with right now on here. So this could work potentially really, really well too. I just wish I had a bag that matched better, I guess is what I'm saying, because I wish I had more of a neutral bag and I could just bring one bag and it just works with every outfit. That's usually what I like to do. I don't even have a backpack and usually when I go to Disney, I have a backpack or like, you know, just like an easier, bigger bag to carry things. And then I remembered I probably will want a little more casual outfit too on certain days. So this sweater I love, I wear these with some jeans and then I forgot about my ugly Christmas sweater, which is not ugly at all to me. It's like super cute because it says, I believe in Santa and unicorns, right? Yeah, I believe in Santa and unicorns and it has this big unicorn and candy cane sleeves. I'm gonna have to take breaks with my symptoms and managing my symptoms. So I might wear like a fun outfit for the evening, but maybe during the day wear like something like cozier or like warmer depending or opposite gets colder in the evening, put on something a little bit more warmer. I feel like I'm one of those people that doesn't wanna pack a lot and then I always end up bringing extra outfits just to be on the safe side. I also am gonna bring my chic wish blue sweater with the pearl all right this is the next day but when i was like packing my stuff i realized i forgot to pack my plaid jumpsuit and you guys have definitely seen photos of this before it is so cute with the little candy canes and everything so this is also an outfit i can wear with those white sneakers alice has some cute little disney outfits to wear too i have this cute little gingerbread mickey outfit for her it has little red trim super cute and then her Disneyland Resort Spirit Jersey to wear. These are so cute and they look so great. This one's a little bit big on her, the Christmas one. This one fit, actually fits her pretty good. It's extra small, this one's a size small, but I'm so excited. So she even has some magical clothes to wear and oh, I'm excited. And then also for Alice, I'm gonna bring her little pink dressy coat. It's super cute. I think for you guys, no, I got this at Marshall's, but I don't think I was vlogging yet when I found it. It's very cute. And then I have this dress that I got her from her first Christmas with me and it's actually probably a size too small for her but it still fits. She still fits in it and it's so cute. It has like this cute little crystal detail on the bow, the little plaid bow. I got this on Amazon and it's just it's so cute on her and she it's her little Christmas dress so gotta bring those. And then I'll probably bring a practical like raincoat option just in the off chance if it rains or something like that. Okay, so I'm still packing and trying to get organized. I want to make sure I have like a nice mix of like Christmas holiday stuff and still like some fun like just Disney outfits because I don't get to go to Disney all the time so some outfits will just be fun to wear. But um, I got one of my sweaters on. I was thinking about wearing that Roots um, sweater that I was wearing the other day but I feel like I'm getting too many outfits at this point. So I'm trying to like, now I'm being like really picky about like, okay, I can wear this, not wear this, wear this, not wear this. And I'm mostly, I'm just thinking, what am I A, going to be warm in, B, that's still comfortable to wear, but C, I also still want to have like magical, fun outfits to wear. So I'm trying to have a balance. Plus I can always go back and change depending on what's going on. So the sweater is definitely coming. Gold chic wish skirt. Um, the gold like jacquard skirt just because I feel like the other skirts I can mix and match more easy that one you can mix and match too but I just feel like I have so many options so I need to put some things back so I decided to put that back maybe when I'm watching the footage I'll regret it but at this point I feel like I have so many options so that one can go back and it's a beautiful option to wear to like other lovely events too it's not just like Disney specific where that Aladdin skirt for instance is very Disney so I kind of have an opportunity to wear that and kind of has like a you know like the star kind of celestial vibe to it as well so excited for that I think I'm gonna sign off for the day just because I need to finish packing and being picky about what I'm bringing 
but I'll chat to you guys tomorrow. We're gonna head to the airport, gonna fly with little Alice, and we're gonna go to Disney. This is so exciting, I'm like thrilled. So I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, magical one, stay safe, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Goodbye for now.